Alright guys, so in this video I just want to talk about how you can improve your the effectiveness of your reality checks. Now, th there are many different approaches to this and I think the best one is just to think about what you're really trying to get your subconscious mind or even your conscious mind to do. You're trying to activate these areas of your brain of awareness, right, of critical thinking and thought and logical reasoning. Now that's hard to do when you're asleep, so when you do a reality check, you should try and think about how you're approaching it. So long story short, here is a very quick tip that you can use to make your reality checks more effective. Okay? Instead of thinking of it in terms of you're trying to ascertain if you're awake, try and approach it in the sense that you know you're dreaming and you're trying to prove if you're not dreaming. So instead of trying to test whether you're, you're dreaming, try and test whether you're awake. So imagine that this is all a dream right now. As you're doing this reality check, you're, you know it's all a dream and you're trying to figure out if you're awake, you're trying to test the dream. So you're trying to look at things in a logical way and think, if this were a dream, uh, which you know you believe it is, then you should be able to levitate or you should be able to move objects or bend the rules of physics. Now, if you constantly test that and you find you can't do that, then you can conclude that you're awake and you're not dreaming. So it's just a way of flipping it on its head and making it more effective. It, it does kind of work, right? Now, one more thing I, w I did want to ask you guys is I've got this tablet here which enables me to make videos or whiteboard videos where I can sort of draw on the screen, annotate what I'm saying on a whiteboard with this graphics thingy. It's a very cheap little tablet but it works really well. If you want to see that type of video and if you would prefer that, then please let me know in the comments and I can do that because it's very easy for me and I can bring this on my travels to Asia which is happening very soon. Now also, please go ahead and subscribe to my other channel. I know I've not been posting it for a few days, but Transcend Your Limits, which is in the sidebar of my channel, it's also in the description of every video I make, is where I'm gonna be creating a lot of like travel content, more casual sort of out and about doing things, and it's gonna be a very good channel. Uh, there's, some, there's some pretty cool videos on it, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys did subscribe to that because I seem to have a fairly big audience here, but I, I do more than just lucid dreaming talking, right? I do, I go traveling, I talk about business, philosophy, psychology, the human mind, consciousness. I talk about all of that stuff on the other channel as well. Um, so yeah, it would really mean a lot to me if you go and, and uh, subscribe to that, because <laughs> uh, although lucid dreaming is incredible, it's not the only thing I do, right? I also do other stuff, and I'd appreciate it if you guys could support that and just check it out. You'll probably like it if you like these videos. So, so that's it guys, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.